Hey friends of wine lovers, how's it going? Mark Supsik here, creator of Wine Living, Wine Professional. In part three of our series about the best white wines for beginners to try, we're gonna get savage. I'm talking about Sauvignon Blanc. This week, I'm going to teach you a little bit about Sauvignon Blanc so that you can make more informed decisions at the store and also with your wine pairings. And please hang around to the end of the video because I will show you a very easy to make dish that pairs excellently with Sauvignon Blanc. Always fierce, sometimes funky, sometimes it makes a wine that people are willing to pay over $100,000 for. Sauvignon Blanc is a bit of a mystery. Although we're pretty sure it comes from the country of France, we're not 100% sure where in the country. It's made its home in two major regions though, in Bordeaux in the southwest and the Loire Valley in the central part of France. Now the name Sauvignon is most likely derived from the French word sauvage, which means savage or wild. And it's probably an apt description of the wild vines that early settlers found in ancient France. While it's true that Bordeaux is known most for red wines, they've been making beautiful white wines from the Sauvignon Blanc grape for centuries. But the most famous white wine in Bordeaux is no doubt the sweet white wine called Sauterne. This is made with partially rotten grapes, most of them Sauvignon Blanc. I'll post a little card link up here so you can learn a little bit more about Sauterne. Go check that video out. In the Loire Valley of France, Sauvignon Blanc is probably most famous in the regions of Sancerre and Puy Fumé. Today, these are some of the best and most affordable examples of what the original French Sauvignon Blanc tastes like. As with most of the world's famous grapes, Sauvignon Blanc eventually traveled around the world and found its way to places like Italy and California, Chile, and even South Africa. It seems to grow better and make better wines in cooler climates, and in particular, it found a home in New Zealand. In the 1990s, a particular brand called Cloudy Bay put New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc on the map and became an icon in the wine world. Now, one of the reasons why Sauvignon Blanc is so popular is because it's super refreshing. It's known for its high acids, which keep it refreshing and crisp no matter where in the world it's grown. True to its name, it can be wild and a little funky when it's grown in cooler parts of the world. It gets this herbal, grassy essence with a really strong ruby red grapefruit bite. Some people even say that it smells like fresh cut grass and, in a more negative light, cat's pee. When Sauvignon Blanc comes from a warmer part of the world, it gets more fruit flavors in it. Pineapple, white peaches, and passion fruit. The key to pairing up Sauvignon Blanc with food is to remember that it's very acidic and usually a bit herbaceous. That makes it perfect for foods like salads, tangy goat cheese, seafood, and certain types of veggies, in particular Brussels sprouts and asparagus. Now asparagus is one of the hardest foods to pair with wine, so now you know, this is your go-to. Pricing on Sauvignon Blanc tends to vary depending on the region and its prestige. Old bottles of original Bordeaux and Sauterne Loire Valley can go as high as $50 to $100. But on average, you're more likely to see them around $20 to $30 a bottle. New Zealand usually comes in behind that at about $20 to $25 a bottle. And practically everywhere else in the world, you can get a good Sauvignon Blanc for $10 to $20, like this one here from Chile. As promised, I said I would give you an easy to make dish that goes well with Sauvignon Blanc. It is arboreal rice topped with grilled asparagus. I have a video, I made it a couple of months ago, it shows you the steps to making arboreal rice perfectly. Follow those instructions here on the link and then top it off with some grilled asparagus. You could probably even do some Brussels sprouts if you want. A little olive oil, cracked black pepper, Parmesan cheese. Bam, you're ready for some Sauvignon Blanc, my friends. Thanks so much for hanging with me this week and learning about Sauvignon Blanc. Let me know if there's anything that you'd like to learn about or see in this series, The Best White Wines, and don't forget to check out the other series, The Best Red Wines for Beginners as well. In the meantime, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll get notifications whenever I make a new video. Until then, don't forget to take a little time out of every day to live a little. Cheers.